A special thanks to T-Yard for sponsoring a portion of this video, but more on that later in today's episode. Greetings, salutations, thanks for joining me for another video. This morning on my 30 day adventure series heading around the west, I wake up at the Sunbridge Barn Grill slash hotel here in Baker City, Oregon. And actually the superchargers are right behind me. It is noon, I am getting ready now to take off for Tacoma, Washington. Uh, we have just under a six hour drive ahead. And then tomorrow I am very excited to announce that we'll be touring the Exped USA headquarters in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, if you know anything about my channel, have been following me for a while, I've been using the Exped mattresses like the Mega Mat Auto for the Model Y, uh, also obviously for the Model X. And then they have a whole range of camping mattresses, backpacks, tents, all sorts of stuff. They're one of the top level online retailers. Um, they're also actually in all REIs around the country too. So they're a premium brand, super high quality. If you've used any of their mattresses before, you'll know that. And they were gracious enough to have me out and do a tour, talk to some of the team members, talk camping, the outdoors, and honestly just have a lot of fun. So that will be coming up in the next video. But for today, we gotta get there. And we got, like I said, just under six hour drive. So I think we're gonna probably take a look here at the screen and then pick the next uh, destination to charge up and then we'll be on our way. If you are new here to my channel, my name is Brian Hauer and my channel is based around EVs, travel, the outdoors, things like camping, fishing, hiking, e-biking recently. And so if you're into that kind of stuff and you wanna follow along on this 30 day adventure series and maybe more after that, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of this incredible adventure series. All right, let's take a look at the screen. All right, so looking at the screen here, I'm actually gonna agree with uh, Tesla here and that doesn't always happen. So we're down here in Baker City and we're gonna take, we're gonna go Northwest here and we're gonna stop at the Pendleton, Oregon supercharger. That one is eight stalls, 150 kilowatt max. And the next stop after that is gonna be Yakima. That is eight stalls at 250 kilowatt max. Yeah, that's probably the best one because otherwise you have to go off the route here. And I'd rather not do that, whereas Pendleton's right on the way. So we'll do Pendleton, then Yakima, and then probably Tacoma next. My hotel is right downtown. It's only, I think, uh, less than a mile to the headquarters of Exped. So let's go ahead and get on the road and head for Pendleton, Oregon. And I'm already charged up because I did that last night when I got here. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check my previous video. I'll make sure to link it down in the description below as part of this entire series. Uh, but uh, yeah, 89% and it says we will arrive in Pendleton with 52%. Let's see how accurate that is. Sun shining bright over my horizon Put the top down, gonna keep on driving Cause it's blue sky, blue sky, blue skies Blue sky, blue sky, blue skies And it feels like the summer Oh, it feels like the summer to me feels like the summer it feels like the summer and it's where i want to be swimming in the light of the warmer weather no cloud inside and there's nothing better than blue sky blue sky Where I wanna be. 
16 on the right. Now turn left onto Arrowhead Road. Now your destination is on the right. And I got a pull in too, so I would be using that. All right, so just arrived at the Pendleton, Oregon Supercharger, and we arrived with 53%. I think that was pretty close to what it uh, estimated. And let's look at current drive or since the last charge, 279 watt hours per mile. That's actually really good. Since yesterday, uh, since like the halfway through yesterday, I've been actually getting really good efficiency. All right, so I need to charge up here for, it says 15 minutes. I'll probably charge maybe about 20. I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna eat some lunch, then run inside to go to the bathroom, and we'll be good to go. All right, kilowatts going up. This is, let's check a 150 kilowatt max, eight stalls, okay. Yeah, you can see I'm the only one here actually right now. Lots of RVs though. All right, so up to about 118, 119 kilowatts. Uh, we'll let it charge up here for about 15, 20 minutes and take off. If you've been following my camping or road trip adventures for a while, you've definitely seen a couple different approaches to how I've traveled with a fridge freezer. In the past, I've either taken up the entire passenger seat or the entire sub trunk in search of a way to keep my food and drinks cold while not taking up too much room in such a small space. And that brings us to today's sponsor, T-Yard, and their 15 liter hidden refrigerator made specifically for the Tesla Model Y. Before I tell you about it, let's take a look at the unboxing and how easy the installation is. The fridge will come well packed and will include a base, main unit, pack of screws with a mini screwdriver, and user manual. First, you'll want to remove any cargo mat you have to make the installation easier. Next, you'll insert the base of the fridge into the rear left storage pocket. Now remember, this fridge also works with the newer 16 volt lithium ion batteries in the most recent Model Ys. After that, you'll put the main unit on top of the base unit and plug into the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Screw it in with the supplied two longer screws, then screw on the fridge door with the two supplied smaller screws. Now turn it on by holding the power button for three seconds. You'll see that it's pretty warm in there now, but it'll only take about 15 minutes to cool off. Now let's change the temperature setting from Celsius to Fahrenheit by pressing the up and down arrows at the same time. Then tap the mode button until it says F4, then hit down twice until it changes to Fahrenheit. Now change the temperature to your desired setting. I like mine around 37 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. Load it up with your favorite food and drinks and hit the road. The T-Yard Hidden Fridge is a must-have accessory for any outdoor enthusiast. It makes full use of the hidden space of the rear left storage pocket of the trunk with almost a perfect fit. It's also non-destructive and only takes about 10 minutes to install. It comes with an efficient compressor that can run 24 seven as long as sentry mode or camp mode is enabled. In eco mode, it barely draws any power once it reaches its desired temperature, so you'll never even notice battery loss. Now, while it's not gonna fit food and drinks for the entire family, it does have 15 liters of storage space, and that's only slightly smaller than my current 20 liter, which takes up the whole sub trunk. Now you have that entire space for extra camping gear, charging adapters, toys for the beach, and more. In fact, I fit an entire 12 pack of 16.9 ounce water bottles into it, and with seven water bottles, I was still able to easily fit a container of chicken breasts, a pork chop, a banana, an orange, and even a sandwich. So if you're an outdoor enthusiast like I am and plan to head out on some adventures or simply want an easy out of the way option to keep the kids drinks, lunches, or snacks cold, then click the link in the description below and use discount code Brian Howard at checkout to save 25%. Thanks again to T-Yard for sponsoring a portion of this video. All right, now let's get back to today's adventure. All right, actually ended up walking around the casino a little bit and then I was just gonna get a, like a little snippet of video of just what it looked like because the rest of the casino actually looked pretty nice. Uh, the gaming part's fairly small, at least the table games. And so I was just gonna get a quick little, uh, you know, photo or quick little uh, video. And literally within one second of pulling my phone out, <laughs> security guard, which I know, you know, living in Vegas part-time, 
that you're not supposed to like, they don't like when you take uh, video or pictures of the gaming tables. I kind of called his bluff though and he backed off and was super nice after that. But he was like, it's a federal crime. And I was like, uh, what is? And he's like, can't take photos, can't take photos or video of the gaming tables. I was like, you're telling me it's a federal crime to take video? I was like, that's complete nonsense. <laughs> there is no law, there's no federal law that says that. And he's like, well, we're on federal land. I go, this is an Indian reservation? He's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, but it's not a federal crime to take a picture. It might be your policy that you can't, but there's no federal crime against that. And then he backed off and was like, kind of apologetic and super nice after that. The guy was a sweetheart, wasn't a big deal or anything like that. And I wasn't trying to ruffle any feathers. I just wanted to, you know, since a lot of my videos are out of Vegas too, I was just gonna show what it looked like. The casino looked very nice. It all looks very new and they have a movie theater and a bunch of other stuff and a lot of restaurants. It looked very nice. It's called um, Wild Horse Resort and Casino. So if you are in the Pendleton, Oregon area, come on by and say hi. <laughs> All right, so because that took a little bit long, I'm actually ready to go to the next stop. So let's go ahead and look here. All right, so it wants me to go all the way to Yakima, which is fine. It says I'll arrive at Yakima with 25%, so we'll just keep it at that, that's good. I'm probably gonna eat my sandwich uh, on the way, then I don't have to uh, sit here for another 10, 15 minutes. All right, let's, uh, let's hit the road. I'm gonna go on hook, and then we'll look at how much it cost. That was $6.93. Wow, that is super cheap. All right, let's hit the road and I'll see you in Yakima. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. Well, they really got me on some back roads here. <laughs> I looked at the map, it does make sense. Yeah, because you have to cut across, because this is 84 that I've been on for a while. And then uh, you gotta go up this way. So, just seems a little odd, because like, you're just taking rights and lefts, like in, like in farmland. But, seem to be going the correct way. Looks like an hour and 23 minutes, 86 miles to the Yakima Washington Supercharger. Now take exit 179 on the right. Now keep left to take Yakima Avenue. All right, just arrived at the Yakima Washington Supercharger. Arrived with 20%, I think it said 25%, so a little bit less than that. Uh, again, yeah, 301 watt hours per mile, so a little bit worse than earlier, but all in all, pretty good. I'm gonna hurry up and go get charging because there's uh, pretty much a full thing here and don't wanna be taking up a space for no reason. This is a high usage supercharger. It'll limit me to 80%. You can see limit now is at 80%. You can of course just go over here and dial that up or down, however you wanna do it. But I'll just leave that there because I'm gonna look to see how far it is now to my hotel. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in in a second and I'll let you know. All right, it is showing, let's see here, two and a half hours, 156 miles to my hotel in downtown Tacoma. Yeah, you can see there's Tac there's uh, Tacoma, Seattle right above it. We're here in Yakima. All right, so it says 15 minutes to continue trip. 
I'll probably stick around about 20, 25. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and give it a little extra so that I don't have to charge right away when I get there. I wouldn't mind just getting to the hotel with at least like, I don't know, I'd love to have like 30% or something like that. So I wouldn't have to charge anymore today, but uh, we'll see, I'll let you know. Before then, if I arrive in Tacoma with less than 20% or close to it, I won't have enough for sentry mode. You have to have at least 20% for sentry mode to run. Now my car will be in the hotel parking garage, but I still wanna make sure that, you know, that sentry mode is on. I have a lot of stuff in here. I'm traveling with a lot of things, a lot of expensive things, so I wanna make sure. All right, so I decided for time's sake to actually add a stop. Uh, I know that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, but for charging, I decided to stop at the charger right before I get to the hotel in downtown Tacoma. Um, then I can add like an extra 25, 30% in like 10 minutes and be on my way. And I only have to wait three more minutes instead of like 10 to 15. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. That is the Auburn Washington 150 kilowatt uh, 12 stalls. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there on the way and then the rest of the way is just in. Then I'll have enough for sentry mode while I'm at the hotel for a day or two and won't have to worry about you know leaving and charging and things like that. So, All right, so we just have two more minutes left. I'll probably stick around just a few more than that just to make sure and then we'll uh, get on our way. And while I was here, I was like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna look up to see where the Yakima headquarters are. Uh, they're, they're founded here, but they're actually not even here. Uh, they long time ago moved to I have some place in California they were headquartered and then back to and then they went to Oregon to Beaverton and recently they're in Lake Oswego I don't know if I'm saying that right but that's where they're headquartered now in Oregon so not even in Yakima Washington but they were founded here all right so it says I have enough energy to continue trip I'm gonna sit around five more minutes and then take off all right, I think that's good enough. Says we'll arrive with 19%. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. All right, let's take a look at the cost. It's an expensive one, $17.63. On to Tacoma, Washington. Destination is on the left. On the right, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so just arrived at the Tesla Supercharger in Auburn, Washington. Uh, I think we're probably only about 20 minutes from the hotel and arrived with only 13%. It was very mountainous, lots of traffic. I am here, I'm gonna hurry up and get charging so I can get on to the hotel. All right, getting charging now. I can see it going up right there. And let's look at efficiency from this last charge that we were at uh, about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Uh, 283 watt hours per mile, so pretty decent actually. Uh, we're gonna stay here and I'm gonna look to see how far the hotel is. Actually, I think it says right here. Um, yeah, only 17 minutes away to the hotel, to downtown Tacoma. So I'm gonna actually run into the restroom, charge up. I'm probably gonna put in, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes worth and then head over to the hotel. And I should have, I don't know, maybe 50, 60% then and I'll have plenty for the next day or two. 
Oh, and a couple of things of note uh, as I've entered Washington, which is my first time being here. Absolutely beautiful, completely scenic drive, loved it. I will say I've seen more Subarus than I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> they are everywhere. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty beautiful drive. All right, we're up to 52%. Let's go unhook and get to the hotel to check in. All right, and that charge was $1.20. So like two eighty-five or something like that and a buck 20. All right, let's get to the hotel. Now your destination is on the right. Uh, okay, now I gotta find where after we check in. Oh, there's So just got into my hotel room here in Tacoma. Uh, it's about eight o'clock and I'm pretty tired. Got a lot of editing to do tonight. Then tomorrow, I will see you guys in the next video at Exped headquarters here in Tacoma, Washington. So if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.